Hey, what's up, travelers? In this video, we're going to go to an all you can eat seafood buffet restaurant that is about a half hour drive outside of Ho Chi Minh City. So stick around and check it out. But before we do that, I want to show you my little apartment that I've got here. I've paid about $500 for, for 17 nights that I paid here, but that's because it's basically an Airbnb. So, first of all, here's the bathroom. Uh, the floor is all wet right now because I just took a shower. But yeah, it comes with toothbrushes and toothpaste and shampoo and body wash. And then we come out here and we got a nice mirror, place to put our, our shoes, old desk with some artwork, and then a nice king size bed. And come out when we got the refrigerator, comes with a five gallon uh, jug of water. You come out here, and this is what used to be a balcony but got turned into a kitchen. So, a little tiny v Vietnamese kitchen here. So, loaded with all the stuff you need to cook if you want to cook and everything and then you got a, a view of of what it looks like outside here in Ho Chi Minh City but then we got you know cooking oil salt pepper kettle and a hot plate but yeah so this is what you get for about five hundred dollars for th uh, almost three weeks all right, so that was the tour of this little apartment. Uh, let's get on with the video. All right, so we are at the seafood buffet. This place is absolutely crazy. Like, it was a hundred and seventy-nine thousand dong. That's less than that's less than eight dollars. It's got like full body prawns. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's just absolutely amazing. There's so much shellfish and just pretty much anything you can think about. I mean, they don't have crab or anything like that, but but they've got all kinds of different styles of clams and oysters and mussels and just amazing stuff and then the best part about it is you get to cook it at your table So this is this is what I started out with here. So 179,000 dollars with drink included. What a deal! But yeah, let's uh let's let's get this show on the road. Let's get this started cooking. Let's see. Uh, so what's this right here? This is uh, quail pieces. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll throw one of those on there, and then uh, some. Some pork spare ribs. Some catfish wings. Boy, these just don't want to work with me. <laughs> Use the tongs here, and then we got these clams. Put a clam there, and a clam there, and a clam over there. Put 
And then that's oysters with quail egg, and I'm not entirely even sure what that is, but it looks really good. I think we're going to just start there and let things cook for a little bit. And well, I guess maybe we should put one of these on there as well. Don't want to overload it too much. So we'll give it a little bit of time to cook. Found out about this place uh, because uh, Max McFarland and Chris Lewis came here about a month or so ago. It looked like an amazing spot in their videos, so I just had to come check it out when I was here in Saigon. It literally took about an hour to drive from where my apartment is in, in District 1 out to, out to where this place is. Uh, so it was, it was quite a jaunt to get here. We got some stuff cooking here, and things are coming along. We have, we have clams are starting to open, it's starting to get a little bit of a of a look to it. Have that green seafood sauce there, one of the best sauces in Vietnam. Well, I'm looking forward to those shrimp. This stuff starting to, to look pretty well done here. Oh, it's still a little bit on the pork and the and the quail there, but I think that catfish wing's going pretty good. Uh, the scallops are probably just about ready. Pretty sure that clam's good to go. So let's jump into this clam, huh? Let's doctor it up a little bit. I'll go ahead, and grab some of the seafood sauce here that on there. Maybe a little pinch of the salt and pepper and a calamansi. Mm. Oh that's so good. I can already tell it was totally worth coming all the way out here. I mean, the price alone was worth it, but then, man, that first bite was so awesome. I got the catfish is, is coming around here. Yeah, that's that's really good. We'll uh, go ahead and just grab the rest of that. Oh yeah, now, this is a lot harder to film at a place like this than the normal places that I go to. Really loud here, and so many people are just staring at me. <laughs> I can see this place is super popular, and, and of course it is. This place has awesome seafood at an amazing price. Let's try one of these scallops here. Mm. Oh man, I may have just bit into a pearl, but that's okay. That was fantastic. It's like that quail's just about cooked. We get closer over the top of the fire there. I believe this pork rib is finished though. Yeah, this thing should be pretty amazing. Oh. Oh yeah, the marinade on that is just, it's just got this amazing umami flavor to it. Get that other scallop off of here. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> Yeah, I am so glad I came out to this place. As we're getting some of this stuff off the grill, we got to move on and get some more stuff onto it. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, that thing is just bubbling, man. That thing is awesome. Got, 
because we're just going to pull that catfish wing off. Alright, and then let's go ahead and move this bad boy onto here. And put this weird looking shellfish on here as well. Look how blue that thing is. It's awesome. And that catfish is so good. So do I think you should come out here? All the way out here for this uh, buffet place? That is a 100% positive, Roger. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah, definitely come out here if you're inside on. It's worth, the, it's worth taking the trip. Even after a, 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 10, a 10 dollar ride both ways, you're still getting your money worth out of, out of this. I mean, in the States, you'd probably pay 50 bucks for this buffet. Definitely not less than eight. Yeah, definitely come out here. All right, let's try some of this quail. Yeah, I don't think I've ever eaten quail before. Hey, that's pretty good. The problem with quail is every bird's a chicken nugget. Too much work, too little meat. <laughs> Not even sure what kind of clam this is, but. Mm. The way I sauce that up, it tastes amazing. It just doesn't want to detach from the shell. Alright, we're gonna jump on into one of these shrimp here. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of people like to slurp the heads. I'm not really one of those guys. Not into that shrimp butter. Oh. oh, that is so good. It was worth the trip out here just for the shrimp, to be honest. And there are so many people here. It is ridiculous. There's probably a good 150 people. They're just cleaning it up out here. We got an oyster with some quail egg. And, and we got it starting to boil up for us. We got one more of those shrimp. Another cut clam on the half shell. And a couple other pieces of seafood in there. But uh, here's uh, another shrimp here. Man, these things are hot. Is not all that interested in coming out of there. <laughs> Man, this, this green seafood sauce is just amazing. Man, these shrimp though, man, I tell you what. So I just pulled off the first oyster with the quail egg. Show that to you before we... Looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? I think we're just going to go ahead and use the soup spoon for this. One bite. Mm. 
That was delicious. <laughs> so very, very delicious. Oh yeah, that was that was awesome. So last four things I got out here, they're taking a little bit of time to cook, so I'm gonna move them around the grill, probably go get a plate of some fruit and stuff like that, maybe a little bit more uh, seafood on the way out. I think we're going to just go ahead and call this a video. So if you've enjoyed it, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, or not, it's up to you. <laughs> I appreciate it if you do, though. But as always, eat great food.